Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Knowledge Channel. Today we are going to see part three of QMS ISO 9001-2015 basic awareness question and how where it will be useful and how it will be useful. It will be very useful for you to attend the certification, any certification program anywhere. And these questions are very intrigued and these questions are very wonderful to understand the concept of quality management system. So as I have done in the past part one and part one, this is the Google link, Google form link where you can take the link and have a practice it and you can do uh, any number of time. It will be the score will be auto graded. And if you wanted to catch up the answer, you wanted to know the answer with the logical reason. This is my uh, YouTube video and you can have a click and watch it. And this is for generally the same thing also I have done for part two also as well. So this is the link for the Google form uh, where you can practice. And this is the link where you can get the answers with the reasoning and all that. So let's march forward for part three. So I'm going to give my email ID and then I'm going to give next. Okay, so again, the basic questions will come up. It's just uh, your name. You can, if you don't want to reveal your name, just put X, that's fine. Yeah. And assessment done. I'm going to pick up today's date and give okay. Next. So, this is the 10 questions uh, are coming up for you, and these questions are in shuffling order. So, categories of audit include what? System audit, process audit, product audit, joint audit, trial audit, and all the given options. So the right answer is all the given options. These are all the typical type of categories of audit. Let's have a go to the next question. Ensure in five, class number 5.3, ensure relevant roles are assigned and communicated, understood within the organization. Let's go to the main class first. Class number five is, you all know, is a leadership class. And in the leadership class, it used the word, the top management shall ensure relevant roles are assigned, relevant roles are uh, communicated, understood within the organization. Is this a true statement or not? Yes, it is true. Uh, at this point of time, I also wanted to add a tidbit in this case. So class number five, that is leadership, has used three powerful words. One, the powerful word is top management shall. The whole class start with the phrase called top management shall. First word is establish. The second word is demonstrate. Third word is ensure. So these three words have been used in class number five. Top management shall establish. Top management shall ensure. Top management shall demonstrate and so on. Let's go to the third questions. As per 19011, you all know this uh, auditing skills remain true to a conclusion despite the pressure to change that is not based on evidence. For example, you have given NC and RDT claim that that is not the NC, but you have a, all facts and figures and evidence to claim that is uh, that to mark as the NC non-conformity. Then you have to be remain true to a conclusion. So the answer is true. Next question. Deal with RDT. Again, it is coming from the auditing skills. Deal with RDT openly and freely to help them relax. Is it true or false? Is it true? Next question. Again, as per 19011 auditing skills, give the RDT benefit of doubt. True or false? True. And then the next question, action to address risk and opportunities, right? Class number 6.1, use a reference of 4.1 and 4.2. Basically, if you read the class number 6.1, that is action to address risk and opportunity, it has given the quotation of 4.1 and 4.2. Let me also add you for the benefit of you. 4.1, it basically talks about the internal issues and external issues should be addressed shall be addressed and I know it also need to be there as a strategic direction. That's what the core theme of that class number 4.1. 4.2 4 
let's talk about 4.2 you all know 4.2 basically talks about interested parties so that means any action to address and risk an opportunity they have given that we need to find out the internal issues what are the issues we're going to have and how we can eradicate those issues or mitigate those issues external issues and then you have something called interested parties so this is the right one for for more information please read the standard iso 9215 class number 6.1 there are dash quality principle five six seven so answer is seven you all remember that the first is customer focus engagement of people and so on right okay system to establish policy and objectives to achieve and to achieve those objectives this is the definition given as in the iso 9000 that is fundamental vocabulary is so this is definition given for what is in the definition given for process management system or quality management system are none. So the answer is management system, any management system, whether it is a quality management system, program management system, project management system, human resource management system, any management system should have a policy and then should have a objective policy is what to do objectives how to do you what are the kpis what are the key process indicator how the trend lines all these comes in objectives right so that means remember so this is twisting question so that means uh, the qms is a definition is different a set of coordinated work to direct and control an organization in order to continually improve the effectiveness and efficiency that is a definition uh, for qms but for management system in general so this is the definition given in the ISO 9000. Let's go to the next one. Class referring to, uh, you know, custom focus, 5.1.2 and 9.1.2. So you please open up the uh, standard. In that 5.1.2 is customer focus, 9.1.2 is uh, customer satisfaction. So the customer focus is given in the both the one. So one it comes in plan, that is uh, class number five is in plan, class number nine is checked. So it is both the, uh, both the classes it appear. Audit plan minimum, what are the, uh, it should contain, what does it should contain? So auditor name, process to be audited, audit date, opening meet, uh, meeting, closing meeting, all the given options. So the answer is all the given options. So that's it. Uh, if you wanted to have a copy, you can claim that, send me a copy of my response so that you can also have in your email also as well. I hope this video is very informative to you. And as I said that you will also spontaneously, you will get the response also as well. So your record will get submitted. If you wanted to know the score or you wanted to retake the survey, you can take the retake the survey. Or if you wanted to see the score, let's say I wanted to see my score. So 20 out of 20 we have got, that is each question carries two marks. 20 out of 20 and then it also gives uh, in email and also it gives a summary also as well like look at the summary neatly it comes category of audit okay that's a good job right that's a correct answer and then all these one because all my answer are correct 20 out of 20 all have given in the green font right so this you can also have in your you know email also as well for your reference also as well so thanks to google also as well to make this process much easier and uh, we can create the forms in google and facilitate the answer have it in your uh, you know personal email ids and, uh, and so on so please do like share subscribe my channel please do encourage me by commenting on this video so that i shall take it up more and more videos and enlighten you on the quality management system take good care have a nice day ahead